Oh, f*** you. Go away. Go find your women wherever you want if you're not satisfied. I don't know what to tell you. If you want a woman who barely even speaks English and just has to suck your d*** um, go for it. Triggered immediately. You pay attention to the passport bros. Like, they're getting women from, like, the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. women can that can speak very little English. Women that don't have it, education. Please, sir. I want some more. Rolling my strike. Welcome back to Richie Rich Abroad. Richie Rich here. And women are starting to realize that they're going to have to get on a whole nother program if they want to get and keep a good man. So let's get into this video. But first, before we do, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and the notification button so you get our video straight off the bat right when it pops off. All right, let's check Go this. away. Go find your women wherever you want. If you're not satisfied, I don't know what to tell you. If you want a woman who barely even speaks English and just has to suck your d um, go for it. Triggered immediately. You pay attention to the passport bros. Like, they're getting women from, like, the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand. Mm. Like, oh. women can that can speak very little English. Women that don't have it, education. Not... Please, sir. I want some more. <laughs> he cracks me up, right? But look, we've we've heard all this before. Women who are poor, women who are uneducated, women who have no other choices, they'll do anything to get a man. We've heard all of this before. It ain't about that. But check this out. Keep watching the next clip. Is it true that we see passport bros as an upgrade to our situation? Of course we do. But so what? Isn't that the same thing you look for in a man? To find someone that makes more money than you do? Right. So why are you bashing us for doing the same thing? Seems a little hypocritical to me. But does it mean we're only looking for money with no love involved? Well, let me ask you the same question. When a Western woman rejects a man who doesn't earn enough, and you do it all the time, does that mean that all you wanted was his money? But even when all your arguments have been thoroughly destroyed, you've still got your favorite go-to tactic. Anger. Go f*** you. Go away. Go find your women wherever you want if you're not satisfied. But there's also some good news for the passport bros. Some Western women actually get it, like this classy lady. Why are you mad because men are choosing to go out of the country, passport bros, and use their passports to get women that's not new. feminine, that's fit, beautiful, that's inspiring, that's kind, cooperative, and submissive. Women that have traditional values. What, what makes, why are you mad about that? Right, it's not a new concept. It, what, People have been doing this for years. And after World War II, after Korea, after Vietnam, men have been doing this for years. Men in the military found wives overseas. They met wives overseas. They fell in love. And they brought some of them brought their women back to the U.S. Some of them just said, you know what, I'm, I'm cool. I'm staying right here. It's been going on for years. There's been passport bros before there was a such thing as passport bros. It's not a new, it's not new, it's not a phenomena. It just is what it is. People find love in different places. There ain't nothing wrong with it. People, you you love who you love. You love where you love, right? So that's just what it is. But the, the good thing, to me, the good thing about this video is that women are putting other women up on game and saying, look, it, quit shaming, quit trying, quit tripping over dudes. It just, it just is what it is. These men are just trying to go out and find love and uh, wherever, wherever it might be. So, all right, let's go on. Let's check out the next clip. Women can, that can speak very little English, women that don't have it, education. Not, Some of them seem so oblivious to the point where they really right. don't get it. They don't get it. Men are looking for traditional women. And most men have always wanted traditional women. But because modern women were taught to go to school, you know, get their education, they were never taught to prioritize marriage, a man, or relationships. They were taught to go to school, get an education, take care of yourself, because you don't need a man. But for a lot of these women, this entrepreneur, boss chick, independent woman lifestyle is not working out the way they plan. Because when you choose that, that means you may not ever have that family structure, that home, that two-parent home. The majority of these women become single mothers because during that, oh, have your fun in your 20s right. stage. And then when they the hit their early stage. 40s, they were not prepared for that because nobody told you what hitting the wall looks like. You were never taught how to be in a relationship. You were never taught how to treat a man, how to love a man. Also, going forward, we really need to stop trying to shame men into accepting something that they just don't want. Shame, insult, guilt, need to be right, right? Sign language, right? All of those things. 
that women do always shame trying to shame a man oh why you have to go overseas you can't get a woman in the states how about it ain't that passport bros can't get a woman in the states are you seriously telling me that i couldn't get women in the states really i'm not saying i ain't saying i'm denzel but <laughs> but i ain't ashley larry either right so i'm just saying it ain't the passport bros couldn't get women in the states uh, speaking for myself anyway it's maybe it's just that the women in other places maybe for me i find the women in other places more appealing i like a slender woman i like a woman who's fit feminine and friendly I, that's the woman i like i don't want the big butt i don't want the bbl i don't need the the breast augmentation and the blown up lips and and the cheekbones removed and all that i don't i don't want the fake the plastic and i sure as hell don't want no damn wig right i just i like natural and when you go abroad i guarantee you that one of the first things one of the things you will definitely see is you're going to see natural and they might have little everything but you know what? i'll take that and the cute disposition the cute um the cute behavior the a nice disposition, the agreeable disposition, the, the desire to please their man. I'll take that every day and twice on Sundays. Next clip. Like women can, that can speak very little English, women that don't have and, education. And I, I am FBA and I support the passport bros. I'm a Filipina and I support the passport bros. I'm a Filipina and I support the passport bros. Women are getting put up on game right so you see women women so you can see women are getting put up on game slowly but surely in the philippines abroad and even here at home there's a lot of women that support passport bros and again not just passport bros but they support men who are saying look i want to go abroad I'll, I'll go abroad maybe the women here don't like me maybe the women here ain't feeling me that's cool i'm not mad at you for it let me just dip and go abroad and go somewhere where the women when i where i know the women gonna feel me and don't get twisted, don't get all twisted, don't get all twisted up and mad at me. I'm just going to a place where I feel loved, where somebody is going to love me for who I am, how I am. And they ain't going to try to shame me or put me down because I don't have what they want or what they're trying to get. That's all I'm saying. Next clip. It's because we don't want them. I am a Filipina and I support the passport rules. Hi, I am Kay. I am a Filipina and I support the passport girls. For the women who are upset with the passport bros, see there's two ways you can handle life, right? You can either be bitter and angry at the people who have the things that you want, or you can learn from them and learn how you can obtain it for yourself. Personally, I prefer to go for option two because option one just leaves you bitter and filled with resentment, but your situation doesn't change. Whereas at least with option two, you have a chance of actually changing your situation. If you don't like your outcomes, change your behavior you can shame these men as much as you want you can put down these women and put down their home countries as much as you want you're still going to be single it's not going to make you any more desirable to these men a smart woman would learn a thing or two from these women a less smart woman would choose to call them uneducated desperate for opportunities poverty stricken but regardless of all of these things that you think they are they're still able to get the men that don't want you huh. right Look, you can call, I mean, you can be mad, you can shame men, you can say whatever you want to say about them or to them. Yeah, they're going abroad. Yeah, oh, they're losers. Oh, they're, they're dusty. Oh, they're broke. How are they getting there? How are they living there? How are they dating? You got to have money to date. I don't care what country you're living in. I don't care what country you're dating in. You still got to have money to date a woman, right? So somebody got some money. Somebody's doing something. But look, you can, the bottom line, you can call, you can call them all the names you want to call them but you still ain't getting those men and maybe you don't want them and if you don't want them stop talking about them because nobody's talking about you nobody's saying oh american women are so terrible american women are this american women are that i know i'm not saying that i'm just saying look fellas there's other options there's other choices there might even be better choices for you go to the philippines go to thailand go in other countries wherever it might be go to the dr colombia wherever and check it out brazil check it out maybe there's better options for you if the women in the west if the women in the west ain't it for you try another place there's other places the united states is not the only country in the world the uk is not the only okay it's not a country the uk is not the only place in the world there's other places you can go where other women will want to be with you 
We'll be happy to be with you. We'll be happy with what you can provide. You have to provide and protect just like you would in other, any other place. But the difference is you're getting back. They're reciprocating. You get something back for what you give. Not only that, but they're happy to give it back. And they're happy to receive what you have to give. They're happy. They ain't complaining. They ain't talking about, can I get more? Give me some more. Give me some more. Buy me this. Buy me that. They're happy for what they're getting because what you're giving them is a lot more than what they have. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Don't let nobody shame you into thinking there's something wrong with you going somewhere where someone loves you and where someone wants to be with you. Next clip. Just in security. Think overseas, go overseas, babe. I completely disagree because it takes a whole lot of courage, a whole lot of self-confidence, somewhat of financial stability and a passport, which a lot of chicks don't even have, for a man to go overseas and find his wife. And actually, to really be the ones who are complaining about men leaving the U.S. to find their wives. It'd be the women themselves. It's basically women are shaming men and insulting them for trying to do better for themselves. Unfortunately, some women in America are not submissive, they are way too masculine, and they don't want to cater to a man. So, girlfriend, you may look feminine, but if your attitude stinks, what is a man supposed to do besides moving on? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to move on, right? If your attitude stinks, you might look fine. There's so many beautiful women in the U.S. There's a lot of 170 pounds to 230 pounders out there. But there's a lot of beautiful women in the U.S. And it's too bad because sometimes their attitudes just are not good. Because you got all these simps out there telling them how beautiful they are and catering to them and giving them everything they want and taking them <laughs> to other places besides the Cheesecake Factory. And that's what you get. You get people with bad attitudes and who feel like they deserve a hell of a lot more than they actually do. But someone keeps giving it to them. All right. Next clip. Issue with these passport bros aren't that they're getting passed. The disrespect from the African American women, American women, when it comes to the passport bros, you might ask, like, where did this start? What, why is this going on? They say that they're dusty. They say that they say they're losers. They're not worth keeping. So why are they speaking out about it? Well, it's because they're projecting. They are upset because they don't feel desired. Men are not approaching women or playing games with women like they used to. They've taken the red pill, they've woken up. And quite honestly, if I was a guy or if I had a son, I would advise him to go overseas. And that's the bottom line, right? Guys are just saying, look, you don't want to deal with me? That's cool. Look, I just understand I have other options. I don't have to. You are not the only, you ain't the only game in town no more, right? Before, a lot of men didn't know, but now that's what we do in this space. We put other men up on game to let you know you have other choices. You have other choices. You can go other places. You don't have to stay in the U.S. You can get a woman outside the U.S. It don't have to be the whole 90-day fiancé thing, but you have lots of other choices. And when I say other choices, believe me when I tell you, there are women out there who will love you, even if you're a little overweight, even if you ain't rich, even if your pockets ain't full. You got to be up on your game. You got to be a good man. You got to be willing to provide and protect. But look, there is a woman. Uh, there are women out there in Thailand, in the Philippines. I mean, that would absolutely love you. They welcome you to come there. And they are beautiful women. I promise you this. You will meet women in the Philippines. Those women in Thailand and the women here in the Philippines are just as beautiful, if not often way more beautiful. I'm just saying, I know we have beautiful women in the States too. But I'm telling you, some of the women in the Philippines are so beautiful. And they will love you just the way you look. They'll take you just the way you are. So quit tripping and don't believe that bullshit that the women in the United States are the only game in town. They ain't the only game in town. There's a better game. You just got to travel a little bit further for the game, right? That's it. Next clip. You know what I think is really funny? How the passport broke. And one of the reasons I think it's getting so much pushback from women is because... What this is going to mean is that ladies are not going to just have more competition. They're going to have more competition when it comes to dating and mating. There's going to be more options available for men. And I think for 
many ladies, that just makes them feel a little bit uneasy, if I'm just being honest. We heard these things, and so the idea of competing or the idea of, you know, making yourself available or different, you know, things that you would do to make yourself desirable to another partner is very foreign, especially for black women. And so now fast forward and you have this whole group of men that are saying, hey, you aren't willing to work with us. Fine, we're going to go abroad and find women who are, it's like it's like a mixture of shock and disdain and disgust and how dare you do this? Like you're gonna make us have to compete? How dare you? The good news is if you are a good woman, whether you were in the USA or you are in you know Europe or you were in Asia, Africa, whatever, if you're a good woman, there's gonna be no shortage of men who really want to you know be with you. So there you have it. I mean, I mean she really summed it up in a nutshell, right? You got a lot of women who are very who feel uh, really jealous, really envious because look. You can look at the Filipino P and she's a really cute girl. She's obviously intelligent. She's witty. She's charming. Honey, she ain't looking to get rich off nobody. She's got her own money. You can look at her. You can't say, oh, I'm more, I'm smarter than her. Or I'm more educated than her. Because in the Philippines, you have to have a college degree to work at 7-Eleven in the Philippines. That's how competitive it is. So it ain't like women in the U.S. are so much more educated don't believe in, don't believe all that. It ain't like women in the U.S. are so much more educated than the women in the Philippines. It's just not true. The bottom line is, is it scares women because they suddenly realize, women are starting to realize, hey, I got to compete internationally now, not just with the women on the block, not just with the women in my city, but I got to compete internationally now. And it makes it even tougher for me now. So all the, all the simps and all the suckers that I used to could deal with or that would take me out. Now there's a woman across the Pacific who, has his attention. So I got to, so I got to up my game. And that's what scares people. It's, it's a little jealousy. It's a little, it's fear. It's fear that causes women to act this way, to call it, call names and say all the stuff that they're saying. And, but look, but look, the last thing she said was really prominent, which is if you're a good woman, if you're the kind of woman that a good man wants, you ain't going to have no problems because there's going to be, there's still going to be a whole bunch of men at your door, lined up probably around the corner, looking to get a woman like you because there just aren't that many. They don't, they ain't a dime a dozen. They don't grow on trees. So if you're that kind of woman, you ain't got nothing to worry about for these. But for these women who's from the streets, they got a lot to worry about because competition is fierce and it's a global economy now. There is global competition. You can't, <laughs> it ain't just the woman on the block. It ain't just your next door neighbor. Um, it ain't just the, the girl next door who you're competing with. It's the women across the Pacific. It's the women below the border that's coming up here. You got to, there's a whole bunch more competition now. And look, ladies, if I am never on my videos ever going to say that women in the United States are terrible. I would never date a woman in the United States. I've heard other men say that. I'm never going to say that. I, there are too many beautiful women in the U.S. There's too many good women in the U.S. Most of them are taken. Most of them are taken. And, and I'm taken at this point. But the point is, I'm never going to badmouth and bash the women in our country. But I'm, but what I am doing and what I want other men to know is that you don't have to settle this. There are women in other places that will love you, that will love you, that, I mean, really genuinely love you, that will take care of you, that will iron your clothes, wash your clothes, cook you dinner, clean. I mean, that's how much they really love you and they, that they feel like their job is to take care of you. They want to do all the things for you. That a woman in the U.S. won't do. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button so you can get our videos in the future. Chang is coming back next week, and I can't wait. I'm I'm hyped. I've been traveling. She's been hitting the books, and I'm actually hyped to see her. And Chang, I know you. I know you're watching this video. I'm doing it by myself. So what's up, girl? I'll be back in what about five days. Richie Rich, I'm out, y'all.